April tomorrow. Yeah. Great weather tomorrow. Great weather for the holiday weekend, Lainey. Yeah. But it's about to get real hot. I was going to say a little <laughs> something for everyone, yeah, right? Today was a A plus day. <laughs> Treat. Yes, Boy, we really indeed. don't get that usually mm -mm. in July. So it's nice. Yesterday and today, actually, low humidity out there. Temperatures a little bit below normal and blue skies. So that's a perfect combination. If you like the heat and humidity and the chance for storms, that's your typical summer forecast, and that will come back in time for the holiday. Take a look at North Carolina A&T State University today, where you do see blue skies. I think we're going to see a few more clouds out there tomorrow. That's an indication that there will be a little more moisture in the air, so it's going to be just a little bit stickier, a little more humid. You may notice that our high today 84. Boy, nice out there this morning at 59. We're going to see that morning temperature come up too. So increasing humidity tomorrow. Hot, humid 90s back for the fourth and for the holiday weekend. Scattered mainly late day storms return this week too. So we've only got a small chance on Thursday, and then we're going to up that rain chance some for Friday and especially for Saturday. Also going up the temperatures. We're approaching 90 tomorrow and then in the low to mid 90s. It looks like for a stretch that does continue through the holiday weekend. Let's enjoy what we have out there right now. It is 66 degrees in Stewart, 68 in North Wilkesboro, as well as Galax. You've got 72 in Lexington, 73 in Greensboro and 69 right now in Burlington. We do have mostly clear skies across the area. It's a real quiet weather map. All of the heat is out here where you've got the heat warnings as well as heat advisories, and that's for triple digit heat index values that are in the forecast. So that hot air is going to be slowly migrating east and we'll feel it for sure by the end of the week. Tomorrow morning feels pretty nice. Low 60s, patchy clouds around. It is mainly sunny tomorrow, but there will be some cloud cover. I do think the temperatures will get into the upper 80s by late tomorrow afternoon. Even by lunchtime, we're close to 80 degrees. We've got a south breeze, which is warm for us. It's also going to bring in some more moisture, so definitely more humid tomorrow with a high of 88. A nice morning in the foothills and and then in the afternoon, yeah, a little hotter, up to about 87. And mountain temperatures will land in the low 80s by late tomorrow afternoon. Also with that south breeze, we've got a lot of baseball going on this week, especially on July 4th. We've got the Rockers at home, Grasshoppers at home, Dash at home, and we also have small chances for showers and thunderstorms. But I do think Thursday looks fairly dry across our area but it is definitely going to be hot and humid. Morning temperatures are going to start in the 70s on Thursday, and then by July 4th in the afternoon, you're going to see at least a few showers and storms kind of develop, and some may trickle into the triad by late afternoon, early evening. I'm hoping they get out of here in time for fireworks time, and then sort of push off to the east. By early Friday morning, it's also warm. We're in the low 70s. By Friday afternoon, another round of some pop-up showers and storms, but not everybody is going to see rain. I think we have a better chance on Saturday and maybe some kind of lingering into Sunday. We talked about this at the top of the newscast. This is barrel and you can see that storm still a strong one. And yes, those tropical storm force winds extending out now to Haiti and the Dominican Republic, but most of the real strong winds remaining offshore, but they are definitely kicking up the waves quite a bit as they already are seeing some wave heights that are close to 20 feet. They are just off the coast and this storm is going to be moving in that west northwest direction, which puts it as a major hurricane pretty much on top of, if not very close to Jamaica tomorrow afternoon, then over the Cayman Islands tomorrow night, and then potentially a slow turn to the north and maybe by by late weekend, early next week, impacting the southern part of Texas. We still have five days, though, to watch this. Here is your seven day forecast. You're going to see morning temperatures stay hot. It stays humid. We've got highs in the 90s with some storm chances. So hopefully your lawn will get some rain.